Okay, so uh, welcome back everyone to the Tech Buddy session. And uh, since today is technically the first class of um, the new semester, um, we're going to be starting with the basics again for the iOS system. Um, yeah, so for today, we're going to be looking over the terminology. So like the definitions of some of the words that are used when um, describing the iOS system. Uh, we're also going to look over the key actions that uh, can be done with the iPhone, the link changing the language and font, and also customizing your notification panel. So first is the terminology. So we're going to quickly look over the, de the device type. So everybody in this room will have the iOS system on the left over here. So the iPhone and um, on the other hand, there's another type of device called the smartphone and that's all the other um, kind of phones that use the Android system rather than the iOS system. So that will be brands like Samsung, LG, Sony, Google, and yeah, all those other big brands. Um, yeah, so everybody in this room will have either an iPhone or maybe an iPad. So like I said before, the iPhones use the iOS operating system, uh, while the iPads use the iPad OS operating system, and they're both made by Apple. Um, settings and functionality will be similar for most of these devices. So once you kind of, uh, once you learn how to use like the iPhone, it'll like transfer over straight into the iPad and um, yeah, you'll, you'll be technically learning how to use two devices at once memory terminology. So memory means long term storage capacity, while RAM, which stands for random access memory, is short term memory that stores all the working data and machine code currently in use. So all your apps, um, your phone numbers, everything on your phone that you're using right away that you can like click on and it pops up in front of you that's using RAM memory. Uh, 3G, 4G, LTE, and 5G are just the types of cellular network speed capability. So um, 3G is uh, slower than 4G and LTE and 5G, and uh, 5G is the newest and fastest uh, cellular network speed. So most of us will probably have 4G and LTE, but um, I think the newer phones have 5G now, so yeah. Uh, so key actions, I mean, everybody ha may, might have knew, known it already. So from uh, iPhone to iPhone 8, they have home button to go back home. But from iPhone X to the most recent series, uh, iPhone does not have the home button, but you can go to go back to home by swiping the bottom of the screen. Yeah, so so if you have iPhone X or iPhone 11 or iPhone 12, you swipe the bottom of the screen to go back to the home. And if you have iPhone 8 and below them, you can just click the home button to go back home. Key actions, home again. Swipe up from the bottom edge of the screen or press the button to return to the home screen. Quit an app, switch between recent apps, swipe up just a little bit, just slightly, or double double click the button will go get back to the recent apps that you have used. So you just swipe up, like just swipe up to go back home and just swipe up really slightly to get back to the recent apps. Next slide. And notification center. Notifications are shown here, as you see in the screen. Uh, you can swipe down from the center of the top edge of the screen from any screen, but if you swipe from the right, um, the control center will come up. So center or left top, top part of this screen will show the notification center. And on the lock screen, notifications will be shown until the device is unlocked. Swipe up from the middle of the screen to see old notifications. Slide. 
uh, key actions search swipe down from the center of the home screen not any not other screen but home screen so it can be used to find most things on the device such as contacts apps emails messages etc you can search the app name you can search the contact name to get the information so it's a really useful thing if you forget how to do something or how to find an app next slide you can swipe left on the home screen until the rightmost page is reached so apps are automatically organized based on its category so if you have social medias you have social media apps in a specific category something like that and search bar at the top searches for apps specifically so if you um cannot find an app on your home screen you can use this function to search an app and find it next slide and settings setting contains all general device settings as well as settings for apps that affect notifications privacy and security you can control the sounds that notifications have you can control the um uh some haptics you can control accessibility. you can do a lot of things through settings so you can play around settings and get some useful uh control and it's accessed, accessed through home screen search or app library. And setting is on every phone, so you do not have to download or do something else to get settings. Next slide. Any questions so far? Are you planning really? to go through some of the settings with us so that we can validate against our own device? Okay. Uh, um, do you have any specific settings that you want to learn? Um, sometimes I'm not sure whether I'm running my device the most efficient way, such as like, uh, uh, you know, like using the battery in this uh, low battery mode mm. and, you know, various things like that. I just want some tips. Oh, okay. So battery, um, can you, uh, oh, we can, if, we can do it in our like Q and A session after this, cause like um, oh, yeah, we won't yeah, be talking just... about specifically battery life, but that is something that yeah is definitely useful. So we can go over um, yeah, okay. those things yeah. after this presentation. Yeah, we'll remember your question, and after the lesson, we'll get back to it. Does that sound alright? Okay. Uh, Since yeah. we're talking about settings, can we have the settings um, screen open and then go on and then go through each each um, each yeah, item yeah, on yeah, 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 on the settings? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I'll make sure we. We'll... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Go. <on. laughs> well, oh yeah. So we'll make sure we. We'll do that after the lesson is done and we have Q and A session. So we'll get, um, we'll go to the every settings control and um teach what it is and teach what we can do through that after the lesson. That's great. Okay. Yeah. So um, one of the language, uh, one of the settings that are that we will be going over in this lesson today is the language and font size. So changing those things. So you can actually set your language to the language that you want for your iPhone. So how you do that is you go into your settings. So if you see this gear thing, this you know, gear icon, that's the settings. If you press into there, uh, you can click into general. Um, this red box isn't really matched up to that right now, but it's supposed to be around the general um, ribbon. And when you go into the general ribbon, you can um, click into the language and region ribbon. So this one, again, the red box isn't exactly on the language and region box, but that's where you're supposed to be clicking. And once you click in the language and region uh, box, uh, this screen will appear. And so um, you can add languages by clicking on add language um, in this middle box he here. And 
um, you're essentially adding the languages that you will be using with this device. And depending on the order that these languages are in, your iPhone language, so the words that you see on your screen um, will be, will change depending on which language is at the top. So right now, English is at the top of this list. That's why the language, the words on the screen and on this iPhone is in, is in English. And say you want to move Cantonese traditional to the top, then what you do is you press on these three lines over here on the right, and you just drag to the top to change the order. Yeah, and so you can drag to reorder your selected lang languages in order of preference. And the first language at the top, like in this case, English, English will be the one used as the interface language. So the language that your phone is in. And for Chinese, Japanese, Korean languages, the regional variant, so um, like Canada, will determine how characters are displayed. Yeah, so that, that'll change depending on where you are. And so now, of course, if your um, phone is in a different language, you would probably also want to have a language in that, uh, a keyboard in that language, right? So how you change or add keyboards is you'd follow the same general direction. You go into settings, go into general, and instead of going into languages and font uh, region, this time you go into keyboard. So um, it's above language and region in this case, so right here. Um, and when you enter into keyboard and um, just the keyboard, um, you'll see a list of keyboards that are already added to your phone. And so languages that were previously added, so um, if you added one here, will automatically have a default keyboard added in your keyboard list. So you don't have to worry about adding it separately. And once again, uh, like your languages, you can actually um, tap edit in the right hand corner over here to reorder your keyboards. And when you tap edit, the three lines that we saw on the previous page, like the like these things will pop up and you'll be able to reorder the keyboards um, into the order that you want. So that when you're typing, you can, if you click on like the world symbol on your keyboard in the bottom left, um, you'll be able to customize the order in which those, the languages appear. Excuse me, where's the added, um, where can I find the added in the keyboard? Oh, yeah. So do you see, oh, can you right. see my Thank mouse? You. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. in the yeah, right hand corner. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah, thanks for asking. Um, uh, I have yeah. a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, the length, the keyboard, E-M-O-J-I, e what is that? Yeah, so the emoji keyboard is all like the happy faces and the sad faces and all those oh, like oh, oh, pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the yeah. stickers. Yeah, those are, yeah, they're the stickers. Yeah, oh. exactly. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank yeah, you. and everybody will automatically have an emoji keyboard. So, uh, yeah, you can always use that when you're texting with your friends or with your family. Mm. Okay. And so next is adjusting the font size. So um, this is, this can be really important if you want to make your words bigger or smaller, depending on what's easier for your eyes. And so how you change this is you go into settings and um, go into display and brightness. So on this, on here, it's underneath general. And when you go into display and brightness, uh, you'll see a ribbon that says text size. You press on this and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. And how you control your text size is if you see the circle on the bottom, you can drag it left or right. If you drag it to the right, it'll make your text bigger. And if you drag it to the left, it'll make your text smaller. And um, as you drag it across, the words on here, so apps that support dynamic type, blah, 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 uh, these words will change size depending on um, where, your, uh, where the circle is. So it'll show you like a, uh, a sneak peek or preview of what the text uh, size will be. So you can choose based on that. And um, once you choose, it'll change your whole iPhone uh, 
all the words into that size. Lydia,、mm -hmm. did you see me? I I want to show you something. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, sure. Yeah, but I don't see myself. Um, I got on my setting. Uh, I got English first, and then I got the Chinese traditional, and Chinese traditional Hong Kong. That's that's those two thing is the same thing. Um, I actually don't. I don't exactly know because I no, don't, I don't speak think, Chinese. No, no, I don't think so. One is the、uh, um. So I can do it. Yeah, dialogue 嗰啲字啊，唔係我大陸嗰啲字下低有簡嘅 Chinese simplify， 但係我上高我有誒、uh, Chinese traditional and Chinese traditional bracket Hong Kong， so it's、oh. duplicate， so I can delete one of it。係啊，你可以 delete 嘅，可以唔要一個啦。嗯。你香港嗰啲又係。How do I don't see myself? Is there any way that I can see myself on the screen? Um, I think your camera is, is um. My camera is off. My my camera is on.、Yeah. Oh, now it's off. I think、yeah. you. Now、it's like on. It's turned away、oh. from you. So if you can switch like the camera.、Oh. Um. Switch the camera.、Oh. Yeah. Okay. The other side. Okay, so we can、yeah. see you now. You can see me. Yeah. But I can't. I still can't see myself. Hmm. Um. Is there a way to? What do you see right now? Do you just see the screen?、Like、I just the... see you. I don't see anybody. Only see you... some people talking. See this. See. You see this kind of mark on your screen?、Like、uh huh. This one. Yeah. Ah.、Uh, well, I'm looking at my. I'm looking at my iPad, so I don't have this. Yeah.、Uh, this I think、thing. it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to change the participant view into gallery view. Or Angela, when you're、yeah. talking, I can see you. I don't see myself. You should、That's、be、okay. able to see yourself. Gallery view, I don't see. It's okay. It doesn't need to see me. I just want to show.、Uh, But can you see the screen? Like, can you see the、um, the presentation slide? I can see the presentation,、okay. but I don't see myself. <laughs> okay, as long as you can see the presentation line, yeah, that's okay. That's then, okay. Yeah,、um, that's what I'm saying. That that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You can continue. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should we should do like a Zoom teaching session too, so that. <laughs> okay. If actually, if you have time after this, I think you do. Then you can talk about Zoom. Oh yeah. Oh、okay. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> maybe our, we can do it next in the next class. But okay, I'll、oh, do、okay. this first. Oh,、uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Any questions regarding what we just talked about with like the languages <laughs> and the fonts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was perfect timing, Angela. <laughs> you knew the question slide was coming up. <laughs> okay. If nobody else has questions, we'll continue. So the one of the last things that we'll be talking about is the control center, and what the control center is is as you can see in the picture over here, it's quick access to toggle basic settings and features.、Um, so in this case, what you can see there's like a flashlight, a timer, calculator, camera.、Um, yeah, you can just tap on these buttons to access them right away, as well as turning on your data, which is this green thing, Bluetooth. Wi-Fi and airplane mode, so、um, it's a really quick way to turn on these、um, features. And so, when these icons are colored,、uh, like this green, blue, and blue,、um, it means that they're on. And so, that's how you can tell if、um, what you pressed is on or off. And on iPhones without a home button, home button like this case,、uh, like this picture over here, or any iPad. Uh, you swipe down from the right side on the top edge. So if you can see my mouse, you swipe down from here, like yeah, you just swipe your finger down from this right corner, and this will slide down with your dragging. Oh, okay, yeah, it works. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, that's great. And of course, there will be some other people with iPhones with the home button. Like I have a home button iPhone, a、uh, uh, iPhone with a home button. And what you do is instead of the top, you swipe up from the bottom. So,、uh, where your 
from the bottom of the screen, you just swipe up and you'll see this come up with your dragging as well. Um, yeah, and you can actually customize what you want on there. So uh, you can customize these apps on the bottom here and choose what you want in that area. So how you control that is you go into settings and you go into control center. So in this picture, it's under general. And when you click into control center, you'll be taken to this kind of screen over here. And this list in the middle is included controls. So those are the controls that are already in your control center. And you can remove these by clicking on the negative with the a red circle with a negative sign inside of it. And you can click that to get rid of uh, a control if you don't want it in there. Um, you can also um, add controls. So um, there are more than what is shown in this picture here. So you can scroll through the list, but say you want a quick way to get into your um, alarm app or your clock app, then you could add this alarm um, control like button um, to this list by adding, by pressing on the green button with a plus sign on the left here. And that'll automatically move this alarm, uh, alarm button into this list of included controls. And so, yeah, that's how you customize what you want in your control center. Um, so so if you, if you want, if you want to um, uh, exclude or delete something from your control center, you just click on the minus side, and then it will go back into the plus side underneath. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, exactly. It'll move yeah. um, what you deleted into this more controls list. Yeah, exactly. And you can also, uh, like we reviewed in the past slides, if you press on these three lines, you can also reorder the order of the um, controls so yeah it's it's a bit customizable uh, depending on what you would like to see in the control center uh what happened is uh, when i move the alarm to the uh, including in the control mm -hmm. if i want to move it back when i press the minus side it comes up as a remove what do i have to do oh and then so if you press the negative side, uh, the minus sign, and it yeah. like on the, from the side, it says remove again. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah. Yeah. So you just press remove and then that'll um, it will move it back. Go back yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. It's just double checking. So you, they, oh, they don't okay. want you yeah. to yeah. remove yeah, it on yeah, accident. It works. Yeah. yeah it, it works now. Okay. Great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're actually done now. So we're going to have a mini quiz, except the answers are all on here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, what operating system are we learning about? iOS. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And what can you do when you can't find the app you want? Search. search. Yeah. Like Allison said, you can search um, from the top or you can search in your app library on the way on the last page of your home screen.